All right, dudes. Welcome to Juicy Steals, episode one. This is the show where I break down some of my juiciest steals. And yeah, I get a lot of juice killing people, but the most juice actually comes from stealing. So uh, let's check this out. So y'all probably wondering, Juicy Steals, what are you doing at the private bank, man? You get juice in like OS4, deep in mausoleum. Well, it's that special time of year where the donation vendor has limited edition items, so the fucking Prevalian Bank is loaded with idiots. And this is where you just clean up and make money on a thief. Great thing about the donation vendor, whenever someone donates to the server and buys some crap, he announces it to the whole server. It's awesome. So, donation vendor is announcing this shit. Hey, this guy spent a lot of money, and he runs straight up to the bank. This is like a red tag, a red flag right here. Somebody, donation vendor pops off, especially limited edition item time, Dude's next to it, then runs to the bank and says, Bank? All right, he is about to have some juice in his bag. It's a, just a solid fact. All right? Smart thing to do would be for him to recall somewhere else, bank somewhere else. But this guy's a fool. Anyways, let's continue and see how this goes. So I sneak over to homeboy. Look at this. I'm being sloppy as hell right now. I got my ostard following me. Like, usually I park that guy, park that bad boy far away, and I just sneak up on people and then call them over and ride away into the sunset. I got my own ostard following me. I'm playing sloppy, but I can, because when it's prevailing merchant time and people are spending money, they don't really care. Their heads all, they're, all they're thinking about is these fresh new cloths. They have, they don't, they, they don't think twice. Like, I'm going to look fucking fly in my new Shimmer Equinox. Well, you're not going to be looking fly when I clean it all off your... When I, well, you're not going to be looking too fly when I steal all that Equinox from your bag. Anyways, let's see how this plays out. So I'm, I'm playing sloppy. Like, I'm making mistakes. I shouldn't get this steal. This shouldn't end juicy for me. But let's, let's see how it plays out, because it might end juicy. Pop this dude's bag open. I'm waiting. I know something's gonna go on in there. Something's gonna happen. He's searching. He's looking. What do we got? Come on. Show me something juicy. Show me something juicy. I've gone into all his pouches. Am I gonna start checking bomb bags? If I have to, I will. I don't want to. But if I have to, I will. Avarite sword. So, like, I'm thinking, do I want to steal an Avarite sword? That's kind of juicy. But let's wait. Let's be patient. He's going to have something good here. Now, something to notice, by the way. So, I probably even would have went for the Avarite Sword. But it's like, do I want to take that risk? Look around me. There's like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight players around me, plus some NPCs. The odds of me getting caught right now are like, probably 100%. It's like 20% per player, so it's not a guaranteed 100%, but like 1 in 5, and there's more than 5 people here, should catch me. So if I were to attempt the steal right now, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I, I, I failed the steal. 9 out of 10 times, I fail. Get caught. Die. And then I have some stupid debuff where I can't steal and prev. Well, it, it raises the chance of getting caught. And when you're in a busy bank like this, you're going to get caught. Uh, but let's go on. Let's continue. Right. So I'm waiting. He's got some juice. I'm seeing if he's hiding anything. Oh, more juice. Oh, there he Shimmer Equinox. 35 Shimmer Equinox. Oh, wait. Re let's rewind that. Let's take a look. 35 Shimmer, Shimmer Equinox in the man's pouch. And I go to steal it. And he just saved my life. He just... He just guaranteed I steal the Shimmer Equinox. Alright, so... We're looking, we're fucking around, checking shit. And we gotta get to the point right where the Equinox hits the bag so I can explain something. So, we're chilling, we're watching. We're watching. Looking at shit. And then, all of a sudden... Come on, where is it?
boom! The Shimmer Equinox hits his bag. This is like a frame. This has been a fraction of a second. And my, my killer instinct on a thief, I'm already moving my mouse towards that Shimmer Equinox to target it. Let's watch this. Whew, I'm on it. I'm ready to target the ship. But yep, that's it. I go for the steal. I go for the steal as he drops a blessed deed in his bag. And I make out like a bandit. I'm lucky that I'm no longer in range. He drops the blessed deed and moves. This is like fractions of a second that you're seeing right now. And like my brain's just working at full speed because I'm just an expert. You're, you're watching a master, all right? But you know what? I think he's going to recall once the shit hits his bag. So I have to go for the steal. I have to take this risk right now. I have to. But he doesn't. He moves. And what he does there, let's rewind this. So target's up. He's already a step away. I go for the steal. And I can't steal it. I just can't steal it. Why? Because he's out of range. But he's now running through the town away from people that could catch me, and I have the Shimmer Equinox on last target. So I don't even need this sucker's pouch open anymore. All right, so so what do I do? I just failed the steal, and he's running away. How, how do I recover from this? It's on last target. I've already recovered. This is better for me. I'm moving on him now. I got to wait a few moments to use steal again, but we're moving. We're moving. I know he's juicy, he knows he's juicy, and he's running because he's so juicy. So I'm chasing this sucker down. Chasing him. And this is it. The, the moment of truth. He runs into someone. Do you see that? Take a look back. Let's take a rewind. Burr, burr, burr. He is frantic. This guy is running for his life. He is running for his life, and he gets body blocked. The moment I have been waiting for. I am now right next to him with fewer players around, so less chance of getting caught. And I'm about to hit that steal. I've got my steal skill up. I just got to get within one step of him and hit last target. Boom. That's it. Done. He's already one step away from me, but I already got the cloth. It's mine. I don't know how much cloth you can steal, by the way, at one clip. So this, this is all new to me about how much cloth you can steal in a single clip. This is the biggest stack I've ever attempted. Am I going to get two of his cloth? Am I going to get five of his cloth? I don't know right now. So anyways, boom, there it is. Clip it off him. He's running away now, and I have some of his cloth. We don't know how much. But uh, I got it. So now I'm fucking bolting, boys. Steal success. I got to fucking move. Heart at this point is fucking pounding in my chest. Boom, 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 boom. What the fuck's going on? I get... Hides back up. I'm hidden. How much juice did I get? How many of his cloths did I steal? The entire fucking stack. You see that? The entire fucking stack is mine. This could go down as steal of the year. In fact, I challenge people. Post it up. If you think you get a juicier steal than this, let me see it. But I doubt it. This is probably is easily top three steals of the year. It's early, but it's not going to get beaten. It's not going to get beaten. I'm going to have all the top steals of the year. There's, I doubt anyone steals juicier items than me. This is just episode one. Wait till you see what's coming up next time, because we got juicier steals coming, and they're dirtier. They, in the breakdown, like I'm going to teach you shit you never could even begin to fathom. You just prepare yourself. Oh, oh, you like juicy steals, do you? Well, please subscribe.